Why, hello, cadets. Welcome back to Lightspeed Junior. I'm Natasha, and this is our Help from the Outpost section where we do tutorials to help you guys out. So our question today comes from Bristol again. Thank you, Bristol. Hi, welcome back to the segment. And her question is, how do I draw hats? So I'm gonna show you how to draw a couple of different hats and let's get started. Also, if I sound a little groggy in the voice, I just had my morning coffee. I just woke up <laughs> and I decided to jump right on this video. So bear with me. Let's do like um, a winter hat with a poof. <laughs> so it's more like a curve line because you gotta remember our heads have shape to them. They're not flat. So how I would start it is I would make like a upside down U curved shape. And then I would do the lines on the sides and connect. And then under here, because it's going around. So you see that back part? That just shows that it's going around the back of the head. And then I'll draw the line that looks just like this one. We call that parallel right here and connect it all. And then for the beanie shape, I just continue with the U. Like the way I see it is like most things are just shapes. They're never just straight lines. They have life to them. So then I would draw a cloud at the top like this. I know it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Gotta trust the process, the process. Okay, so. And I don't know how many hats I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna go for as long as I can. And hopefully the one you need is the one I drew. And besides, maybe this is helping someone else. So, as well. So now I'm gonna try to draw a side view of it. So here we're gonna pretend this is the little ear. She's looking this way or he. Yep, yep, yep. Like, ah, I don't wanna do this. Like, oh, there. Yeah, so that way you can see which direction. See? You're like, oh, it's winter, I guess. There. Not my best work, but it works. And so, we're going to take that line. Just like I said before, it curves like this. So now we're curving this way. So it's like, it's a U. Because think about it, your head is not flat. So then... You're gonna take the line and curve it with the, the head. You're just going along the head. See how it's curving with it? Because I think it's covering the head. So now you're gonna parallel this line right here, connect it, and you make another U shape that goes along with the head. Like you're not going against it, you're going with it. And then this time the poof goes here. So just start off with the basic circle. If, if that helps you draw a cloud, and then you just add the little use on top. I like my things big, poofy, and ridiculous. You don't have to make the proof that big. That's just me being me. And then, um, actually, I forgot. If you're thinking about it from a 3D standpoint, like from the side, that part would be behind the head. So, like that. That makes sense. See? That's how I would do it. And then sometimes I like to, oh yeah, and the little lines down here, little nook, you just continue it so it looks like it's going around the head. So um, this is like your basic, and then you can build on top of it with like, um, you can make it even fuzzier. Cause it, once you do the basic shape, you pretty much have it made and you can go around and like add textures and really poof it out. So that way it has more character. Yeah, I'm just so this one's like fuzzy hat fuzzy hat you just follow along the head make your upside down U you make your line against or going along the head and you're building up and you take your other line your U upside down U yeah and you're building along the head so here we go we're going to build 
that U along the head. And then this time, we're gonna go down. Just curve it around. And then parallel line to match it. So it's like another U. It's like you're working with a lot of rounded shapes. Or rounded lines, I should say. This one really wanted to belong. Ooh, you know what? I could give her or him. Um, why do I always think it's a girl? It's my brain. Hardware. Draw girls all the time. So I'm going to do it where it's actually a two. Like two of these. So I'm going to go down again. Like a, another U shape. Like curved line. And then I'm going to match it. Like this. So we're going to get, get rid of this line. And we're going to make it like a M. So it's like. I took that too short. It's like a jester hat almost. Like two little floppy ears. So go around. Go around. And then Yeah, and then we're gonna do some little poofs at the bottom. I almost wish I had a hat like this. Yeah. Yeah. Give the hair. So it looks so crazy. Like, I guess. So then, then when you're doing like stripes on a hat, just remember, nothing is ever flat. You're going along the shape like this. See how I'm making rounded lines and not straight lines. Always think of it as a 3D shape. That way it comes off the paper and it looks like it's got dimension to it. So, I'm just doing a bunch of U's. So it really depends on which way it's going. Like, so then these U's, see how these are going like, like this? So then these will go like this and go down the other way like this. Okay, so I colored it in a little bit extra I guess I can't leave anything blank but I did want to leave this one open so you can kind of see the lines like a circle a flat circle not like a huge big bulging one but like like a flat saucer circle we're pretending it's orbiting the head so it's like pretend you're making a circle around it but you leave the back open because you know your head has to be in the middle so then for a top hat it's just Start right here, not not on this line right here, but right here in the middle, and right here in the middle, on this side, and you're gonna build up. And then, instead of doing a straight line like this, you're going to curve it. See, there goes that curve again, because remember, everything isn't flat when you're drawing. Not all things. So, we're building it so it looks 3D-ish. It's the only way I know how to explain it. I, this is probably why I'm not an art teacher, because I don't know how to explain things properly. <laughs> I only do the best I can. So, depending on how chunky you want your little top hat, you can either taper it in to make it a little more distinguished and give it some... Yeah, let's do that. So just U-shapes, U-shapes, U-shapes. Yeah, you, you lines, you lines. So, hope that makes sense. If you can see that, I hope you can see that. So then, we're gonna erase the head out of the hat. Oh wait, <laughs> duh, I drew it in pen. We're just gonna color over it later. But, so now we have our lines and you have your circle and then to finish it off with a brim it's just more U lines it's amazing how much I've said that my goodness I didn't realize it's so many U lines I just draw it half the time so it's like a basic one hey editing Tasha here I just realized why it looks so funny I forgot the other U right there where the arrows pointing so I added it if you're doing how do I put this? If you want to, okay, we'll do the circle, right? I'm gonna start off with the circle. But what I like to do sometimes is kind of 
go around like a S. Because that's kind of like my style. So let's say we're doing this and then we're going up and it's like a diagonal line instead of like a straight up line. It's, it's connecting to the head like this. Even though maybe they just don't like that. That's why they look so mad <laughs> or unamused with me. So this time I'm going to go up this way because now we're heading this direction. And then we're going to do that U line and go up. And then to make it all come together so it doesn't look so crazy, we're going to put that brim line right here. Not brim. That, uh, what do you call that? That little ribbon. The ribbon in the hat. Why my brain? Okay, so. Like that. So maybe they're not too happy about the fashion I've given them, but you know, we're, we're gonna work it. And so I'm just gonna pull this line down a little bit. And then, there you go. I think I'm gonna do a pirate hat. So you'll find that most of these rules, basic rules apply to every hat that you make it applies to every hat that you make. I got my words jumbled, my goodness, sorry. Okay, so you have this U, upside down U, and then you go up around the head just to make sure you, you encase it so it's going along the head, see, it's following that line. And then you take a little circle right here and you do U, U, and connect, and then do another one right here behind it like this and just connect it very simple and there you have a pirate hat okay. upside down you once again and curve it around like this you put the circle right here and then you do your use and then you connect see simple right doesn't change too much from them when you turn it because either way you're still gonna have it where it curves a princess slash party hat Let, let's let's do that and I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna make a circle right here I'm gonna make a little party hat and so this circle I'm gonna take this line right here that oh look it's another you and this time I'm gonna make it into a cone so you just connect the points at the top like this. And then, ta -da! So now you take that U shape again, and we're gonna connect it up just like the other one. That is a big hat. And then, point. I guess it, de I guess it depends on which size you want. Point going up like a cone. And then this time we're gonna do some S shapes, wiggly lines, S shapes, and there you go. A fair maiden princess hat, yay. Parallel and it looks just like the line that you started with. See? So just, you're just building up. That way it keeps the same consistency with the first line that started the hat. Cause it's not flat. Like I've said a million times, <laughs> it's not flat. So yeah, start with your circle, get that U shape, and you can build up and just go around like this. And go down and connect it. If you want it to get a little more um, technical, if you want like a little more detail to, to it, you make a circle, once again, you go up. And then this time, instead of going all the way up like this one, to pretend like the circle goes out a little bit like this like that and then it goes around you're gonna take this outer corner and build on top of it and then you're gonna continue so it's following that line I hope I'm explaining this right my goodness like I said this is why I am NOT an art teacher terrible at explaining things so 
So that way you can kind of see inside the hat if, or the crown if you want it to. That head with the upside down U and then the lines. And it just and go around like this and then connect it. Fairly simple. Like that. Because we're going to pretend it's hiding. See how this one's going. Ooh, I made that line too wild. See how this one is going this way? So they're looking this way. Well, this one is looking this way. So we're pretending it's on the other side of the head where it would be. So you don't see all the details because the hair is in the way. Like this. But no, but if it is, you know, now that I think about it, I take that back. There is a line, a, a U shape. <sighs> yeah, like this. You do it like that too. If you wanted it. If you want it to be like way on the other side, then you can just keep the head shape. Once again, as we always start, we do our upside down U. Connect it. So this is like the back of the hat. But then for the brim, it's literally another U. And then you just kind of go around like this. And that looks funky right now. So it's like you, 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 upside down, you. And then actually I would build up the hat a little bit more. So it's actually a little bit more raised. But it's all, it's all U shapes or U lines, upside down U's. So then I would add the little, um, you know, the little decoration, what do you call it? The front of the hat. So I would make the line going down here and make the line going down here. So that's like if it was like um like the design that goes right here in the middle. And then the little um there's like a little thing at the top, the little circle. So that's how I would make a baseball cap going head on the upside down U. And then settle down, kitties. My goodness. Okay. So then I would make another U. Like it's building around the head. And so then for the brim, I had put it here to face it correctly. It's in my hair. That way it helps me out. So for this, I would come out, come out. So the lines are coming out this way. And then I would connect it. Actually, no, I would not connect that way. I would go, which way would I go? Please hold. I figured it out. My brain had a whole fart. <laughs> so yeah, I had to figure that out. So, okay, so I do build my lines down here and then I would curve, so it wouldn't be like a point, it'd be a curve. And I would go around in a U, upside down U. See, I swear this, this that shape is everywhere, or this line shape is everywhere. I can't talk. So then what I would do now is for here, to make it really be uh, believable, to sell the hat, you put another like curve right here, and that way it looks like it's going around. And it's encasing your your head meets your head. <laughs> so, see? And then you put the uh, lines where the design would be in the front. And you put the little whoop. And that's how I would draw a baseball cap. Take the lines. Lines. And this, remember we curve it. So it's not a point, it's a curve. And we go around like this, like another U line. And then you put that under U right here to sell it, that it's encasing the head. And then I'm just gonna go around that, make it a little bit bigger, like that. Bigger U, bigger U. And then we take like this. 
and we put the curved line, curved line, and a circle. There you go. Like that. Like this. This is how I've always loved to draw my hats for witches. Witch hat. And then I would make a line, a line, and go up so they come up into almost a cone, but not quite. And then I'd make another U line, upside down U. And then I keep building up. I'm making that cone shape. And then I do the little whoop, whoop, whoop. And finish it off so it's crooked at the top. But you don't have to do that. That's just me. And then you put, just like the baseball cap, you put that U down there to show that it's going around. And if you want to make your... Um, brim a little bit bigger you can always take it out and continue it I mean it's really up to you so then you make that other line underneath so it shows like if it were a circle going around her head that's where that line would be to show that it's going around her head and then up and there you go and then her little ribbon witch hat seriously do that U shape I like always having it up like that. She's a fancy witch. And so, I put the curve down here. And actually, you don't really need it for this side because it's already kind of there. See that? To show that it goes around the hat, or the head. And then you put the line up here, line up here. Make your other U. And then you would continue it like this to make your cone. And then if you want, you can make the little crooked hat like this. It just makes some wiggly lines, points. And there you go. And if you want to round it off, you can. Like that. Make the U. Curve it around. Make that other U to encase the head. And then I would make the lines, some lines going out. You have your brim, just like we did with the beanie at the beginning. And then this time, I'll make some horns like this. So you, 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 you. Whoop, hold on. I, I was a little wild and crazy there. Hold on. You. You fucking hat! So that is the end of the video. And once again, thank you so much, Bristol, for bringing up another question. And this goes to you and any other space cadet out there. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do read them and I do make a point to make a video whenever I can to address whatever questions you have because we love to help here at Lightspeed Junior. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it's a little wordy. <laughs> I tried to cover every basis I could. Um, also, as a side note, we are going to be taking a break for this week coming up. So, the um, uh, what is this? What day is this? So, from the 17th going all through this week, that's coming up. Uh, Monday through Friday, we will be not doing full videos, so we're not doing uploads of full videos. We're just going to be doing shorts, and they are paying homage to our old Halloween videos and stuff from our first previous four seasons. Actually, seasons two through four. So keep a lookout, and I'll be linking the full videos with those shorts, so that we can go straight to them if you're interested. But once again, thank you for coming and joining us, and... This is Natasha signing off.